our, my iPad. She or a, my a good book and a stuff. puzzle book. You never know. But I'm excited to be getting it done. And you just never know who might show up at the hospital. Yeah. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, while I'm in surgery, please, y'all say prayers. But I want you to do something else for me. I want you to listen to some good music. I want you to listen to something uplifting. I want you to listen to oldies. I want you to listen, listen to, to Be My Baby by the Ronettes. Or, or, or a little bit of Elvis for you. Yeah, I love it. I love the old music. But you know what? You need a little bit, you need a real good, you need a Bill Simmons version of Love Lifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know and I, that I've is. got that. I've got that. I've got that to listen to. And I think that's going to be so my be place of peace. Band, yeah. My place of peace will be listening to good gospel music and good stuff. And, and I got to tell y'all, if you don't have Dwight Sanford's gospel CD, you need to get it because that's one that I put in and I listen constantly. He does a great job on every bit of that. And now that I've watched this man in the studio, <clears throat> I am like, he does every instrument. He does every vocal part except for what Astrid does, and she is amazing. And I just watch the combination of how you start with nothing and then you produce this amazing product. And when I listen to, I ask him to make me a special CD. I said, I'm tired of flipping through CDs. I want certain songs on mm -hmm. it. So he put certain songs, but he add, added the one Jesus called a good one home that he wrote for his mama. And I said, there's just some, something about music and comfort. You know, it just comforts you. And the 60s music always... I love Credence, I love, so I'll, I may be laying in the bed healing going, <laughs> whatever, you know? Oh, down, I, I can hear it. you on the bite, I can just hear you, huh? <laughs> you're in your sleep and you've got your, that anesthesia Green and you're going, you're going, Green River. Green River. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow, I'm excited, I'm nervous. Uh, I and am we'll have do, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, we'll have fun, 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 because your daddy took your T-bird away, but I am a, uh, I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to be fine. And after four I am days, thrilled that you're getting it done. I'll be back to work. Yeah, I'll be back to work. I'm, so I'm excited. Good. Yeah, it's time. It's well, been, let's face it. This is been not stressful. the most physically demanding job of that's all, what the, the, of all said. the jobs you have. This is <laughs> not the most demanding. That's what I told demanding. the doctor yesterday. I mean, I was working till nine o'clock last night. I get home at ten forty-four, and I'm like, okay. And then I hit the bed at 2 a.m. and I'm up at 6 and I'm on the phone. I'm like, okay, my days are not normal anyway. Promise me for the next four or five days you will, will be a little bit better than that. I can't. My metabolism yes, can't. doesn't no, no, do that. No, 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 I won't work. No, you're, no, you you're right. No, you just take I'm it easy. Be good. You just yes, take, yes, whether you yes. get up and sit in a chair or sit mm -hmm. in a recliner or something, yeah. you know what? Just I can't let, stay in the bed because my back hurts. Let yourself heal. Yeah, let I'm yourself going to. heal. Because oh. you just need to take a few days yes. to heal. I'm going to heal. I'm you, can you notice your, I'm preaching to her, but I've been having to do that. You can bet your booty I'm going to heal. Yes, you need to heal. Yes, I'm going to sit just like this in reverence. If you want to do something, do it. Because that will make your body, and the more you do, the better it's going to hurt. You know what? The more I'm, you better you're going to feel. I went to the grocery store last night at 10:30, trying to think of well, what would be easy to prepare, what would be easy to do, what would. And you know what I came home with? $163 worth of Lance crackers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, I bought crackers. I bought graham crackers. I bought lettuce to make salads. I just I couldn't think of anything that I wanted, but then I did buy ground chuck because I love my spaghetti. And I thought, when this is over, I want some okay, of my spaghetti. Okay, okay. Pardon me, everybody. I'm going to go to a spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> what I want you to remember for the next week after tomorrow yes. is that what goes in goes out. Goes out. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. That's why I bought crackers. That's why I bought crackers. I knew that. <laughs> what, what goes in comes out. Yeah. That's, that's, all why, I'm gonna that's say. why I bought crackers, because <laughs> I thought graham crackers and uh, captain's wafers. That's what, what I bought. <laughs> yep, what goes, comes. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of you out there, just think about and her. I and I bought water. I bought lots of water. Yeah, so so of anyway, water. Well, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, I hope we're going to share some music with you in just a little bit. Um, I really have to say thank you to, to the people who do... Keep in touch. Let me know they love what's going on. Let me know that they appreciate the things we do because that keeps me going on the days that I don't want to go, you know? Makes a big difference. And, and sometimes you forget to say thank you, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I have just listed a tiny house over in Ella Jane. We're going to talk about that when we come back. 
It's a mini farm right now, and it can be your mini farm for one seventy nine nine. And we're going to show oh, you that info mini. when we come back. It's <laughs> mini mini. <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute. Oh Lord. Okay, for you guys that are with us, um, uh -oh, we're going to a commercial. Yeah. Ed. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Today is an interesting day. Um, because we are short staffed on our crew, we could have done a recorded show, but I wanted to be here. I wanted to see you. I haven't seen her in two months. You've talked to me. I've talked to but her. But don't I sound I'm, like I'm a like, human on the yeah, phone? Yeah, everything sounded good, but it just makes you nervous when you hear that. that so how do, you feel? How, do I, how do you feel seeing me? Uh, it's wonderful, and I'm so glad. Am I Jen? Yeah, you're Jen. See, She's who Jen. did you think was coming to see She's you? She's Jen, and, and so I'm, I'm good. <clears throat> but again, thinking about journaling your life and I have uh, been keeping up with some stuff I got to share something and I wish I could go to this I wish I could go to this tonight I have a friend Kathy who is doing stand-up comedy in Ackworth tonight and I'm gonna share her Facebook page with y'all <clears throat> she is like you and I an overachiever she went into the hospital and the first thing was I see you and she about died on them and she went through everything and she has turned that into a comedy routine. It is funny. She says when she hits the stage, when I do it, I really do it right, you know. And so she and I had lunch the other day and I gave her so much information. She's got a whole new comedy skit. And she's writing it all down, and she said, is That's this good. true? I said, yeah. She said, is this? I, you, yeah. couldn't, you can't make up stuff like and, this. And she, we, we laughed so hard. We were together about two and a half hours, and we couldn't shut up cackling. You got to laugh about it. You got to laugh about it, no matter what you've been through. No, laughter, you know, <laughs> tr truly, in cancer healing or recovery, they talk about laughter truly is a very potent medicine. It releases endorphins that yes. no other thing in your body can Absolutely. release Absolutely. Yeah. But laughter truly is the best <laughs> medicine. Absolutely. But again, that 
tension builds in your body and maybe not all maybe your stress. caregivers or your families don't want to hear stress. the negative stress things that you're doing stress you've got to release that and journaling yeah. gives you that ability yeah yeah. And it's so important. <clears throat> well, we laughed, and I know the restaurant we were in, they thought those were the loudest cackling women I've ever seen. But There's we nothing wrong help with it. it. Nothing wrong with that. It was hysterical, but comedy is so good. And <clears throat> when she came so to death, she just turned it into a comedy routine. And, and she does it all the time. And she, you know, and I said, that makes sense. That there makes is sense. a doctor that has written a series of books. His name is Norman Cousins. They gave me the books when Bob was ill 33 years ago, as hard as that is to me. But he writes about how potent medicine is and mm -hmm. laughter and hugs. <coughs> hugs are important, mm -hmm. holding mm -hmm. a hand mm -hmm. or touching somebody. But how important it is to laugh at your situation sure. or laugh at the absurdity of it all. Yeah. Here you have, you've gone, you've lived 70 years and you haven't done anything and all of a sudden you're going to pot and uh, yeah. without even yeah. blink it, with the blink of an eye and a phone yeah. call, your yeah. life changes so, so yeah. completely. Yeah. Laugh about it, that's all you can do. Well, one of the things that they had to do to prepare me for some of this mess I'm dealing with it was not fun, and I was like, ah, ah, I was screaming. You're I laughing thought, about it I now, though. I whoever was out in the hall was thinking, what are they doing to her? But, oh, my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I just said, we well, got to laugh about it. You got to. So, it's all you can you know, do. It, it is it's all you can it do. Is. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be okay. Just look forward to that good. first cup of green jello you're going to have. Yuck, I hate Jell-O. No, I you'll get to the jello. point where you will love that that's cup of Jell-O. That's two things at the store I looked at last night. I thought, I'll get some yogurt. I hate yogurt. I'll get some Jell-O. I hate Jell-O. Well, Star's going to bring you a protein I drink. I didn't buy anything. They're going to bring you a protein wanted. drink, and actually, they're pretty good there. They have a peach one that's really quite good. I tried to bring some of them home. But no, you're no, you're going to be fine. You're going to be It'll fine. It'll be fine. And I'm, I'm truly... I don't want to say I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to the outcome. You're looking forward to feeling I'm better in the to long the run. Yeah, yeah. I've not looked forward to some of the things they've done to me, but you know what? I feel better than I felt before, mm -hmm. and I look better, and my my labs are excellent. Mm -hmm. The doctor on on Tuesday talked about. He said I can't. He said, I'm reading in here, one doctor called you on in the file a tough old bird. He said, honest to goodness. <laughs> I love but it. But he said, you really are. But he I said, to go through what, that way. But yeah. what you go through, and that's part of you make up your mind that you're going to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you're going to be great. I'm, well, so, I'm and, so happy and for you. the good die young, so I plan on being here. Well, we passed that mark, yeah. didn't we, a long yeah. time ago. We lost and, and that I one. And I have made fun of myself, and I've laughed about this, and I've always said, people say, are you ever going to retire? And I said, oh, no. 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 I said, my goal is to achieve whatever on television and to fall over dead on television well, and get the guys to capture it on camera. Some so. of when I had to be still and lay down or just would be so tired I couldn't get up and walk through the house, I felt like I was atrophying. And I would, I would tell Michelle, no, leave me alone. I've got to get up, whether I'm walking from the kitchen to the bedroom to the living room, out back. I may not. I may have to use a walking stick, or I may have mm -hmm. to use the walker or something. But I've got to get the blood moving through my system. Yeah, yeah. I just refuse to give in to it. Well, and that's why I'm not going to stay in the bed at home. When I get home, I'm going to be walking around. I'm going to keep active. I don't want any blood clots. I don't want any blood clots. They'll show none of that no. stuff. And and breathe through your that that I'm gonna be rest, good. that I'm thing gonna be that you're going to have to to suck and move that little ball up and down. Mm -hmm. That's exercising mm -hmm. your lungs. Do that. Yep. Well, this morning, Don right will get a right will get a kick out of that. that Uncle John too. How is she I doing? Event. She's. It's tough to not be able to use your right hand and be what she is. I can is. imagine. She's barely been She's in my thoughts and prayers. She's having a tough time. But, but she sent me a bunch of pictures that we hope we're going to get. No, we're not going to get them today. Okay, so we're going to post them on Facebook. But with that, um, we're going to go. Can we do a CD of one of those? Okay, we're going to do some music for you. But the pictures will be on my Facebook page because she sent them to me early this morning. And we're, you know, again, operating one person, doing what we can. So we didn't get to get them up today, but I want to share them. They will be on my Facebook page. Uncle John, who is 85 years old and was at our 4th of July event, was taking photos, and he captured some beautiful photos of all of you. And uh, Bryant Strickland, a great picture of you, and I can't wait to share that. And, and um, to Toby and to Mr. Johnson and to um, Mr. McClure and Mrs. McClure, some good pictures of them. We're going to share those photos, <clears throat> and that's what you capture the moment. 
every moment See, I of miss, life you I miss the going out and doing stuff like that. They well, put the fear of God people, on me. My anemia, my, my yeah. immune system. He says, yeah. you have no immune system. Right. Your, your blood, your, your, right. your levels are not where they need to be. You're, yeah. you're, you're still yeah. anemic. They're coming up, but you're still anemic. And he said, you, you don't know how important it yeah. is for you not to be in in crowds. I mean, somebody could say, how can I come do this? You're here, I'm, my caregiver's yeah, sitting there, yeah. and he's across this whole studio in a glass right. room. Right. So there's no one around me right. that I'm doing anything. And you know I'm what doing I'm doing because I'm safety measures. <laughs> safety measures. I live. I love that pink one. That's cool. We ordered a hundred of these. My doctor's office is calling again, y'all. I'm sorry. But we really need to go to commercial yeah. so she can answer the phone <laughs> no, and talk I to him. I can't answer it. It's not in here with me. But um, we are truly, um, we are tough old birds, and we're going to be fine. We're both going to be fine, and, and you're going to Did they get ask this. if you'd had your booster shot? <clears throat> I told them point blank, no, 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 don't talk to me about it. No. So they, they will take you in without your boot. You've had the first shot. I've had nothing. I'm having nothing. Oh, you've had nothing. Okay, I'm and they would take nothing. you. No, because my friend Fred Wyndham would come back from heaven today and tell you why he's not here. See, I've had my End shot and my boosters. But. So, yeah, not for me. But I have lots of antibodies, so lots of them. But tomorrow is going to be a hard day. So we're going to go to some music now. I have no idea what Aaron has chosen. So I think it's we have going to, to be share good, whatever it is. It's <laughs> going to be good. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to enjoy it. We've listened is to so good? much in, in our okay. in our friendship. <laughs> we're going to enjoy it. Here we go. And tomorrow, I want you to put on a good gospel CD, and I want you to think about me, and I want you to say a little prayer. So let's go to some music now. Let 
Ella J. Dwight Sanford, and I, I just got to tell y'all something. When I met this guy, this this guy shows up, takes me on in the parade. We go da da da, and we just hit it off. We just clicked, and we laugh all the time. I'm convinced that we are brother and sister. I'm convinced that our parents must have known each other in a far just life. won't just won't admit it, huh? We are so flippin' much alike, it's crazy, and we, we just jee-haw, and we have had so much fun. And I said last night, when I leave tomorrow for that seven-hour sleep I'm going to take, I said, I gave him a mission to do, and I said, I will have Vicki call you, and then I want you to complete that mission with her, because I gave him the to-do list. And it's funny because we're accomplishing things in the financial world. And we're doing things and we're creating goodness and being kind to people at the same time. And I said, that's the thing I really love about him. He's funny. He's critically crazy about everything has to be detailed. But then he's so kind. And when I see this man doing what he does for other people, I'm just in awe of him. And I love that about people and that's what this world needs is somebody who's kind to you somebody who's good to you somebody who makes you laugh and when I had lunch with Kathy the other day I met her at a corporate meeting where we were getting awards and she was one of the um, what do you call it sponsors she paid for the deal 
So of course I was nice to her. She paid for the deal. So and 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 we just we laughed so hard. And I just thought I'm so glad that God has brought laughter into my life. You're very fortunate because you know what the last 19 months has been. I know you, what you're going through. You and a handful know, and you witnessed me go to the level of leaving. And that was tough. It was tough. Why do you think I text you in the middle of the night? It was tough. But I don't I'm, call you. I'm laughing again, you. and it feels so good. It feels so good. So I'm forever thankful. So thank you. Well, you know thank we're you here. Thank you for being mean to me when I needed it. We're Vicky, here thank you, you for being it. mean to me when I we're needed it. We're here when you need it. And that's yeah. why I said, okay, give me a list. What can I do? Yeah, and you know there ain't anything I wouldn't do. I know. They bring me Jewish chopped liver from Atlanta. Not till you're well. <laughs> I won't bring you chopped liver. I can't liver have or, it anymore. No, I can't have it anymore at all. I can have and a bite. I we'll can just have stop it right there. <laughs> I'll have, have a bite more. for you, but I said I'm having to. Yeah, yeah. Ha I've had to change a lot of things that I absolutely love that no longer love me. Yes, I know, and I found but, that, y'all. I would I would wake up in the morning and eat cold pizza. That doesn't work anymore. I would wake up so in the morning good. and I would eat a chili dog from the varsity that had been in the refrigerator in the little box, and I would eat it cold. That oh doesn't my God, work that is anymore. So good. But, 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 <laughs> But you know, once you eat it and you're not supposed to, and then what happens oh, to you? Oh my had, goodness! It's never not, mind. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. Never, I'm never telling mind, you, so it's not yeah. fun anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I had hoped we would get to share the pictures, but I will put them on Facebook. And Susan Liebert, there is a wonderful picture of you. John got a great picture of you, and to everybody who helped to make that event happen, to, to you know, just gosh, let's gather together the friendship, the fellowship the music, the food, do something for somebody else. I've had so many people from church already messaging me, what can we do, what can we bring, what can we do, we're praying for you. I'm gonna be fine. This is gonna be a, this is a it's gonna be a miserable road. recovery. I'm smart enough to know that I'm gonna be miserable for a few days, well, you know, but I'm all, gonna be fine. All older cars need to tune up every once in a while. Boy, do I need a tune up. They're gonna change my spark plugs. <laughs> But you know, you need, you need a tune-up, yeah. and we we have found mechanics that are good in doing that, yeah. and yeah. that's what we have to do. That's it. And that's the most important thing. I've I've been worried about your, your tune-up, I have and too. that's Whew. why I keep texting you. What's yeah. the outcome of your biopsy? Well, What's it kept getting worse, and when the CT scan came back with all the issues, I said then, I cannot wait until August 15th for surgery, and I was really stressed about it. And then when the doctor said, would you be angry if I moved you up this soon? And I said, Not at angry, all. I will hug your neck. So I'm very Not thankful. And honestly, she's been calling me every 15 minutes while I've been doing the show because I forgot to tell the you. The very minute we go off, hours, you sit right there and call her I will and get call that her. done. But, but I'm very thankful. I'm uh, appreciative of Hannah Stone. Oh, and that's the other story I was going to tell you a while ago. The, when they started asking me all the surgeries I've had, and I told them about the one that went bad at Kennestone, and she said, oh, Oh, and I was explaining it to her, and Dr. Paul Payne, who was my surgeon that day, he blew a gasket on the anesthesiologist. They did not have me under when they cut me. And I will tell y'all, ouch! if you're not under and they slice you, mm -hmm. you know it. And Michelle I, had one, and she's hollering at the doctor, I feel that, I feel that, I, I feel knew, that. Well, I slung my arm and blood went all over everybody. And it was a bad day in the OR. She won't let so, that happen tomorrow. <coughs> no, no, no. Things and, are different and nowadays. And now that they've updated my file with the story about it, and she was like, the lady was like, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. And she said, do you remember who the anesthesiologist was? Oh, yeah, I remember. And I said, so does Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne let him have it. He reamed him out a new one. He was mad. He was mad. But um, more cautious. He, he didn't have his mind on me. He was talking about his ski trip to Aspen. Well, you know, he's and I wasn't out, and it was pretty miserable. So. Okay, <clears throat> prayers, thoughts, good wishes for her tomorrow, and constantly don't stop the prayers for her on Friday night. She's going to need the prayers on I'm Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to preach to y'all because she's she's a good friend, and she means an awful lot to me. And there are never too many prayers. There are never too many good wishes. There are never too many good thoughts for you. Hold off to bring in the plate of spaghetti for a few days till she can eat yeah. that. Yeah. And we'll let you know what she can have. <laughs> but seriously, I just want you to keep her in your thoughts, keep her in your prayers, keep her in your your positiveness. It's gonna be well. It's as gonna you be well. as you look up at, at what's <coughs> left of the super moon tonight, think about right. you and what you're going through. Let's God's see. gonna be there with you tomorrow. Read read us a, a verse today. 
What's on for November? What's let's on for see. July the 14th? I don't have, these aren't the dated ones, but let's see if I can find. Uh, I read mine every day. I've been reading one that the Abernathy, Sandy Abernathy has loaned me. Oh, uh, this is hysterical for me. It's been so good for me. <laughs> Set your alarm clock one minute earlier than your normal wake up time. Okay, that is ridiculous. I don't do an alarm clock. I wake up daylight, and, and Bonnie Lacey and I, and Bonnie, I love you, and I know you're watching. Bonnie Lacey and I travel together, and I would always, everybody I traveled with would say, did you leave a wake-up call? And I said, why? And they said, well, how are you going to wake up? I said, the sun wakes me up. They said, what if the sun doesn't come up? I said, well, the daylight always comes up. Well, if the sun doesn't daylight come up, the world's over up. with anyway, so what difference yeah, does it but make? Daylight wakes me up, and I have always just, I, I wake up. I just wake up and I'm thankful that I wake up and I hope tomorrow afternoon after the surgery I wake up. <laughs> so that's my you goal. Will. You will. <laughs> that's There's my goal. a nurse. There's a nurse in PACU and that her own her responsibility is to stand by your head yep. and talk to you yep. and yep. watch that oxygen that you're getting and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be it's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine and I'm gonna be I will gonna... not bring you coconut cake tomorrow, no, no. I promise. Please don't. But I, I could eat it. I could eat it. But Vicki has a list of people she will call. She will immediately post on Facebook what the progress is, what's going on. Um, I hope that, again, when they said five to seven hours in OR, I hope that, you know, it's the five, well, not see, the seven. Well, see, part of that is also recovery time. Sure. That's not yeah. all totally in, yeah. the, in the operating room. You've got recovery and you've got <coughs> PACU that you're, you're going to go through. So it's a process. And, and I'm ready. I'm ready. And How long do they tell you you'd be in the hospital? Oh, I'm coming home tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Well, you know they do that. You nowadays. know why they do that? Mm. Your insurance, insurance company. <laughs> Your insurance company. They can keep you there 24 tomorrow hours before night. they admit you. Yes, yes. Is that not crazy, y'all? Is that not crazy? But anyway, if you're on my hit list, and, and Vicki has a hit list of people to call, people to message, people to whatever, and she's going to do it on Facebook. And then she's going to make a critical call to see if somebody has done what I said to do while I'm gone. So we'll see. Because <laughs> if we do, then we're going to record that too. So, <laughs> so we'll see. But we're going to take the iPad to the hospital. We're going to, you're going to get to see the shenanigans. And I guarantee you there will be shenanigans. There will be anything except me without makeup on the, on the iPad. Well, but there <laughs> are, well now. I've seen you without makeup, but I've never, I've, I've, I've never talked. To, and you've seen me without makeup yeah, and yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. So see, you're one up on me. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. always had your hair's always. Yeah. Well, your hair was kind of disarrayed that day, but it was a rough morning yeah, for you. Yeah, but, yeah. But no, and you don't look bad without it. Yeah, You yeah. really don't Golly look bad do. without it. Oh wow. It felt good this morning to get up and put eyebrows on. Yeah. I haven't put eyebrows on in probably a couple of months. Yeah. And. I just don't because when when you're they're watching my coloring, they're taking my labs. It's just easier for them not to say, "Go in the bathroom and wash your face." Yeah, yeah. Because part yeah, of what they want to yeah. watch is how your skin is. You know, one of the other is things is they don't want nail polish on no, your they nails don't. because they have to check your color. So that is it. Your you know, and I understand. I understand all. They that, watch that so. nail. If that nail starts to turn blue, you're get you some more air going in. Like the snake was DOA. I have another saying, it's called LBD. And uh, one day, y'all will get to hear all about it because I'm sharing and all of that. And that's not Little Black Dress, is no, it? No, well, could be. Could be a could Little be Black a little Dress black she'd dress. wear somewhere. Yeah, could be. You, but it could yeah. also be something else. I hate when you nail things. <laughs> <laughs> LBD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and to um, truly to every single doctor and nurse that I've been dealing with lately, they've all been exceptional. They've all been exceptional. One guy that lost a vein a couple of times, and I felt so bad for him because he was like, oh, God, you know, and it, it was rough. It was and rough. it hurts when you blow one. <clears throat> it hurt, but everybody else is just, and they're very aware of, I hate needles. I don't like doctor's offices, but I've been in them a lot lately, and I'm very thankful that tomorrow we will end this but you've also not been well for a while, and that's bothered me. It's and, been rough. It's and been it's rough. hard for you to go to Mike's and eat that fried chicken oh, and do, what, do you, that. what you need to do. <laughs> okay. The Bridgemans were with me one day when I got choked so bad, and I've been getting choked a lot. And um, I thought I was going to die. I thought I'm going to die right here in Mike's L J restaurant. <laughs> well, get some crazy. of their sweet potato casserole before you before do. I die. <laughs> I used to buy that. I'd call them and I'd order a pan of that with the I day I knew they would Mike's. have. I love Mike's, and I, oh. I look forward to the day that I can come back to Mike's. So to every single person out there who watches, who loves me, who has supported me for the 16 years in television, 
And I have another special prayer request. My dear friend Shirley Cook, y'all met her and her sister Betty Harrison on Heart of the Home. They were my canning queens. They taught me to can. They taught me so oh, much the about life. Are ladies? Betty, the ju Betty just passed away. No. Betty just passed away, and I have been traumatized by that. That has been really, really, really on my heart. And um, is the other I sister still picking her. blackberries? No. She's going into an assisted living, oh, and it breaks dear. my heart, y'all. These are two of the strongest, hardest working women I've ever known. Fred and I were known. talking about them the other day. He asked they me are did amazing. I still have a contact for canned blackberries. They like are amazing. Well, I'm canning blackberries tonight. Actually, well, that isn't helping him or me. No, but I am canning blackberries tonight. <laughs> well, let's see, if you're in the hospital yeah. tomorrow, then on the way down, we'll stop. Okay. Steal some blackberries, no. No, but tonight, Don said, Mama, you need to rest. I said, No, I don't. I need to stay busy. Eric, wants I need a, to stay Eric would love a blackberry cobbler, by the way. I can he do said, that. He told me to tell you that. I can do that. Eric said he'd I love a blackberry that. cobbler. It's time for us to slide out of here. Um, again, thank you. I love each and every one of you. I hope that I will see you again, not this coming Monday, but the next Monday while I will be back live again. And when we come back live, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fabulous, and it's going to be where good friends meet. And Maybe that's you'll have where me back. That's what happens where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. And thank you for being here all these years. And thank you for being a big part I love you. of getting me to the hospital. Because she kept saying, you got to get fixed. you got to get fixed. I'm going to get fixed. I'll see you again soon, only on ETC. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great and blessed afternoon. Yay! Yay! you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important